what is a high carb day and what are the benefits of it? So I'm assuming by this question, you're probably talking about carb cycling, but you could carb cycle when you're cutting, you could also carb cycle when you're bulking. But let's talk about cutting first. So your carb cycle might look something like this, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, super low calories, Thursday, but you bring yourself back to life. A high carb day is meant to bring back your glycogen, give you some energy, sometimes give you a boost in leptin, depending on what you're doing. We're purposely trying to refill your body, you know, almost like you're running out of gas on the low days. These first three days are like the fat loss days. They're meant to get you into as big of a deficit as possible. You're supposed to suffer down a little bit. When you get the high day, it brings you back to life, and then you go back to depleting again. That's very common when it comes to contest prep. You'll do something similar to this. I do know a couple guys that will do one high day and six low days and just suffer down the whole prep if you have to get down a single digit. When you're bulking, there's different ways to do it, but it's not usually high, low, high, low. It's usually your high carb day is your training day, and then your low carb day, your zero carb day is your off day. So the benefit here is a little bit different. You want to have a bunch of calories, a bunch of food when you're training. On your low days or your non-training days, you really aren't doing that much. So you want to give your body a boost in insulin sensitivity by having zero carb days, very low carb days. Maybe keep some cardio in. I would say 80% of the time, you're probably going to be training on a high carb day. The only 20% is if you need to like have this crazy refeed because your body's way too depleted, but that's person dependent. 